What's up, YouTube? Triple C Memorabilia, back here with another video. Been a long time since I've made one, but got a few things I'm wanting to show today. Um, got a nice stack of some PSA DNA cards that I got back. Um, got a couple of TTMs, lots of photos that I got TTM, and then a couple of baseballs I want to show. So, going to get right to it. I haven't made a video for a while, been super busy coaching junior high football, the 8th grade team that I coach. We are undefeated this year, so super happy with that. Been a blast coaching football this year. Um, sadly, it's winding down this week, so definitely will miss that, but looking forward to baseball this spring. So, I'll definitely be staying busy. So, couple things I want to show today. Like I said, lots of TTMs. Um, haven't gotten, haven't been sending a whole lot out, but have gotten a few things back, which is exciting. Um, first thing I want to show is a Topps Fire purchase on eBay. This is a rookie auto of Johan Oviedo. I like Topps Fire a lot more this year. They looked a little bit better than they did last year, so happy to add that one. Let's see, I'll show some 8x10s I picked up. I, you know, just randomly... Realized I didn't really have anything of this guy. He's an 11, 2011 World Series champ with the Cardinals. Picked up this 8x10 of Rafael Farcall. Obviously more known for his Braves career than his Cardinals, but he definitely had a very good postseason with the Cardinals, so happy to add that one. And I picked up this 8x10 of up-and-coming Cardinals prospect, uh, Jordan Walker. Nice photo there. Signed in blue, so happy to add that one as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show this baseball. I got this one, picked this one up on Facebook. Somebody was selling it pretty cheap. So I went ahead and grabbed it. It's a nice sweet spot ball of Scott Rowland. Beautiful looking baseball signed in blue. Very, very happy with that one. I'll go ahead and show the cards that I got TTM. Um, got this one from, I believe he still coaches with the Royals can't really remember he signed two world series cards that is jeff supon nice there to add to the world series set that i have so very cool then this guy must have been catching up on mail at the end of the season he signed this one tops heritage card i'm pretty sure i sent him multiples but he only returned this one which i'm super happy with uh current washington national lane thomas he was traded away at the trade deadline so Nice heritage success. Love the way those look when they're signed. So very cool. Go ahead and show this other baseball. I got this one TTM. I'd sent this one out in probably March of this year and finally came back. He was catching up on his mail, apparently. This was Jeff Supon with the nice 06 World Series Champs inscription. Very nice ball. Sent the pen and the ball. He signed it just where I wanted with a cool inscription. So thank you so much to Jeff Supon for catching up on some mail. I'll go ahead and show the PSA cards, and I'm going to show some 8x10s that I got back through the mail. Um, these are getting the autograph authenticated is what this is. They're not graded, but they are. I got back all the cards except for one. One of them came back, questionable authenticity. May end up resubmitting that one. Pretty sure that one's authentic. But uh, this has turned into a pretty big card. This was the Tops Now third consecutive home run game for Tyler O'Neill his rookie year. Signed that one, got this one in person. Got it nice and slabbed up, looks great. Another Tyler O'Neill. this is a red prism from 2019. Still says his rookie card, even though it really isn't his rookie. His rookie was 18, but they, for some reason, put the rookie card emblem. The red, the red parallel. Got this one through the mail, so happy to have that one authenticated. That one's sweet. That one looks absolutely wonderful in a slab. Another card that's TTM, this one's actually really short printed. Another Tops Now card. This one also turned into a pretty expensive card. Uh, raw. So happy to get this one slabbed up and signed. This is Tommy Edmonds' call-up card from 2019. Nice blue signature. Slabbed authentic. So very cool Tommy Edmond card there. This was an eBay purchase, so super happy to have this one come back. Uh, this is Cardinals' up-and-coming prospect, Nolan Gorman, on the 18, I believe. Yeah, 18... Uh, Bowman first. Nice autograph. Not showing up super great on the camera, but it does look pretty good. So nice auto there of Gorman. Uh, the rest are football. I got three football cards back. This was a, t a eBay purchase multiple years ago. This is from 2017 Panini Absolute. 
Just a beautiful Travis Kelsey card. Love this card so much. This one looks amazing. So super happy to have that one back. This was a TTM earlier in the year. Nice Topps Valor, probably one of my favorite football cards to get signed. Uh, this is his rookie, Super Bowl champ Sammy Watkins. So great for the Chiefs collection there. Big part of that Super Bowl win against the 49ers. So nice Watkins there. Last card I got was an eBay purchase. So happy to have this one come back authentic. This is a 2014 Prism uh, Alex Smith. And it was slabbed authentic as well. Another beautiful looking card. So super happy with those. Very happy with all the results I got. Got some pretty good cards back. So can't complain there. Uh, last thing I'm going to show, I got a couple of 8x10s back uh, this week, so happy to get those. Always love getting photos signed. If you watch my channel very much, you know that I get photos a lot. Um, this was a baseball success. This was actually a 3 of 3 success, but the, uh, the, sharp, the f marker I sent really stuck to the back of each photo, and one of them was just completely trashed and not legible. But these other two came out pretty good. This is a former Cardinal and current Cub. This is Patrick Wisdom. Signing right there in a silver pen that I sent. Made them out to me. Like I said, they kind of bubbled up and stuck a little bit. He had this. I sent these to him in probably April. So there's no telling the kind of weather and humidity these things sat through. But uh, happy to get some signatures. A couple of them are pretty good. This one's turned out very, very nice him curtain calling after his first home run so that one was cool yeah like i said could have come out better but super happy with two wisdom successes this guy was a i was a big fan of this guy when he was a cardinal so pretty cool um the rest are chiefs uh chief successes so this one came back in about a week and i did make a proper donation to him he i sent like 10 or 15 bucks and he added his hall of fame inscription this is warren moon Obviously not very famous for his Chiefs career, but this is a sweet Chiefs photo of him. And sent it, and he signed it right where I wanted him to. So very cool success there. Uh, another guy, another former Chiefs quarterback. These are all Chiefs quarterbacks, by the way. Obviously not the big one from this year, but uh, this guy was a former Patriot, and he had some games for the Chiefs in the 2000s. So got him on a couple 8x10s. This is Damon Heward. Made them out to me, wrote Go Chiefs, and then obviously signed them. He signed that photo for me and signed this one for me. So pretty cool there. Uh, this next one is the Chiefs' current backup quarterback. He signed three photos for me. One of them was a Michigan photo that I've already sent to a friend of mine. And the other two I kept, they're Chiefs' photos. This is of Chad Henney. Nice photo there. And then, obviously, the big Chiefs photo that everybody wants. Uh, this is him getting his first down against the Browns in last year's divisional round. Just a beautiful picture of that. Obviously, he needed to get to this pylon, and you can see that he did, in fact, cross. This one got review reviewed very heavily. This was on a big run, like a 15-yard run, too, so he had to run a long ways. And he signed it right there in black, and it looks amazing. Super happy to have this one. Just a big moment in Chiefs history right here. Just a, such a big run after Mahomes gets out. Just so cool. So uh, thank you to everybody who signed for, through the mail for me. Super happy to get all these photos back and the baseball, obviously. Um, if, thank you guys for watching the channel. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a comment down. I love to read your comments. Hopefully I can get back to making some stuff. Hopefully I can send out some more TTMs and have more to show every once in a while. So with that, I will catch you guys later. Thank you for watching.